we are continuing our series on understanding binary in C-sharp with lesson number seven. In this video, we're gonna learn about the not operator in 10 minutes or less. So I've done a little tweaking again on our starter code. We have one value and I got tired of that comparison trying to keep the, the words in the left the same length. And so I just put a colon and the variable name at the end. That way we can always have the binary at the beginning to do a comparison on. And what we have here is just one value. So let's talk about the not value. So int not value equals, and we're gonna say the, um, the tilde, which is on my keyboard, it's the upper left-hand corner right below escape, you have to hit shift um, next to the one key. I'm not sure where it is on your keyboard, but um, the tilde character, and we're gonna say tilde value. So this is not, okay? And no, it's not just a, uh, it's not the bang character, the exclamation point, what's called a bang character. It's not that, it's something a little bit different. So what does not do? Well, let's copy our console so we can see it. And we're gonna say uh, not value, and we'll also put that at the end so we can know the value. So the not, what it's going to do is it's going to um, take the current value and flip all the bits, okay? So if it's a one, it's a zero. If it's a zero, it's a one, and so on for your entire uh, value. So this flips all the bits. Let's see this in action first. And we have, notice it's a lot longer, but notice we have, you know, 1001. Let's look at, look at just the end of this. It says 0110, which is the opposite of what we've got here. And then we got a whole bunch of ones in front. Why is it so long? Well, if you want to do, if you want to count this out, and I don't encourage it because um, it's very long, I'll show you. Um, let's do value comma 32. Instead of eight places, we'll do 32 places. And look at that. It just happens to match up. And again, why does it match up? We talked about this in a few videos, a few lessons ago, when we talked about what we're storing it in, which is an int or integer, which is actually an int 32 or a 32-bit signed integer, or it has 32 bits. 32 bits is 32 ones and zeros. So it said, okay, your number is technically this number right here, and I'm gonna flip all the values. So if you have a zero, I'm gonna put a one. If, I, if you have a one, I'm gonna put a zero. And so it comes this, on the left here, it says zero. Okay, that's a one now. Zero, that's a one now all the way down to this one it goes, oh, that's a zero. And then, oh, back to one, back to one, back to zero. Okay, and that's the not value. So a, a not flips all of the bits. Whatever the bit was, it's the opposite now. It's just the, the opposite of whatever the value was before. Okay, that's what the not is. Now, we're going to get into, you may say, well, why do we even have nots and how does this work? We're gonna get into why not is valuable in the next lesson. Because when you start to learn binary in C sharp or learn binary in general, um, you go, I don't know why all this is necessary. Well, you're gonna find out. Because once you learn the power of binary, you figure out, wow, I can do a lot of stuff really easily, really quickly. And I can you know, really manipulate stuff very, very powerfully with very, very little processing power needed. And that's a really good thing. So we're gonna learn how to do that, but it's important to learn these foundational things first, because if you don't know what an or, an and, and a not are, you don't know what bit shifting is, then you're gonna miss some of these things. And so I'm gonna show you next how to work with clearing bits, clearing certain bits out of um, a value. So that's the important to know what not is in order to do that.